A station covering all of the DMV. This is DC News Now. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for DC News Now at 4. Here's a look at some of the top stories we're working on across the DMV. A former DC police officer sentenced to time behind bars for killing another officer in a library last year. We're live with more on those details. And it's turned into a hot and humid afternoon, and because of that, storms are starting to fire up. We'll let you know when and where you might run into some stormy weather here in just a bit. And as students head back to school, some in Virginia are being forced to learn at home. How a teacher shortage is forcing one district to take drastic measures. And what's the best way to get your kids ready to go back to school? We spoke with doctors about how to prepare them for the change of schedule. Thanks for joining us on this Friday for DC News Now at 4. I'm Mark Hall. And I'm Ben Dennison for Annalisa this afternoon. Plenty of news to get to here on this Friday, but first we're keeping an eye on the skies. A live look at Roslyn, seen from our rooftop camera here at DC News Now. And Ben, it seems like all day we've been waiting for rain. Let's head over now to meteorologist Damon Matson with the first look at the forecast. Damon, are we out of the woods yet, or could we still see some rain a little bit later on? Well, it looks like we're going to see things get a little interesting here over the next few hours. That live shot showing the fact that we still have a lot of sunshine. It's hazy, it's hot, it's humid across the DC Metro and really the entire DMV. But we are starting to see some showers and storms develop in that hot and humid air mass. A little bit of activity up across the I-270 corridor, the South Mountain corridor as well. Largely, we're staying quiet, but Northern Virginia really showing the first signs of any activity. Zooming down here, we're talking about right over Warrington, dealing with a heavier downpour, possibly some rumbles of thunder mixed in there as well. And then right along the I-66 corridor, Route 15 as well here, south of Haymarket, a little bit of rainfall taking shape. So we're seeing signs that storms are trying to get going here as we roll ahead into the later afternoon, early evening hours. At this point, any sort of stronger storm threat is diminishing, but we cannot rule that out here over the next several hours. It looks like showers and storms will be possible at least up until sunset tonight, 8 to 9 o'clock. Then things will start to quiet down. So we definitely have to keep our eye to the sky here. And what locations have the best chance of seeing a few of those stronger storms here over the next few hours? And how is that weekend forecast looking? Could we see some improvements? Improvements to our weather conditions Saturday and Sunday. We'll have a full check of your forecast coming up in just a bit. All right, Damon, thank you. Happening right now, we're awaiting sentencing for the former D.C. police lieutenant found guilty of killing Marissa Mannion, a library special police officer, more than a year ago. 58-year-old Jesse Porter pleaded guilty in June to involuntary manslaughter and unlawful discharge of a firearm. Porter, a retired D.C. police lieutenant, was providing ASP baton training inside the library on August 4th when he fired a gun at the end of the training, hitting Mannion. Yeah, the Mannion family attorneys say that they were only recently granted access to the video of the shooting. Attorney Chelsea Lewis said that watching Officer uh, of Mauricia uh, fight for her life on the floor of the Anacostia neighborhood library with her killing and towering over her in her final moments was nothing short of heartbreaking. Indeed, our Daniel Hamburg is in that courtroom right now. We'll hear from him as soon as that sentencing is complete. And in Prince George's County, Maryland, police investigate a deadly three-vehicle crash that happened on Indian Head Highway last night. The victim, now identified as 54-year-old Lamont Hoyer. Police say Hoyer was driving down the highway when a pickup truck collided with his car, causing him to hit another car. Hoyer died on scene. Two other people inside Hoyer's car were taken to the hospital, were told with serious injuries. That investigation is ongoing. And staying in Prince George's County, police are trying to figure out who brought a gun to Sonia Sotomayor Middle School in Adelphi today. Police were told a loaded gun was found in the teacher's lounge bathroom just before 1030. No students or faculty were hurt, but with anybody having any information, they should call police. And happening tomorrow, the Rockville City Police Department is offering gift cards for up to $200 in exchange for weapons. And we spoke with leaders from the community on how they're preparing, giving the success of the last buyback. Last year, we did our first ever gun buyback in our partnership. We recovered over 300 firearms. Um, it was wildly successful, more than we thought. 
Um, it was so successful that we had it at the police station. We had to move it this year to Redgate Park um, because we just, we backed up traffic. And the event will be on Avery Road in Rockville and you can turn in guns anonymously. That buyback is available to everyone, even if you're not a Rockville resident. And all new tonight, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser will meet with dog owners who lost their pets last Monday during that deadly daycare flooding. This is according to the mayor's spokesperson. You remember 10 dogs were killed at District Dogs when several feet of water rushed inside of the building. Earlier this week, Mayor Bowser said she had been in touch with those dog owners, but some told us that wasn't true. We don't know when that meeting will happen with the mayor, but stay with us for updates. Montgomery County Public School says it's almost fully staffed with teachers ahead of the first day of school coming Monday. And some good news as the school district will be welcoming back more than 160,000 students. Our Tosin Fakile is at the MCPS Board of Education building with data on just how fully staffed the district says it is. The district says they are 99.03% filled with teachers in the classroom as the new school year begins for Montgomery County Public Schools. Educators say that they hired over 1,100 teachers, 648 with experience and 464 that are new to teaching. They still have to fill 139 full-time teacher vacancies and 50 part-time teacher positions. But educators say the 211 schools in the district are ready for students. Over 27 million square feet of building space has been cleaned and prepared for our students, including almost 500,000 square feet of new space and over 90,000 meals will be served every single day this year in Montgomery County. MCPS says it's fully staffed with bus operators and attendants, and they'll have over 1,200 bus operators and over 600 bus attendants this year. They'll also have substitute bus drivers and attendants hired as well. MCPS leaders also gave an update on the bus app that will allow parents track their child's school bus. We have selected the company. Um, we are working out the contract details and the implementation is very important for us. So we are looking at um, release of the bus app probably around December of this year um, because it will not only be for students and families to use, but our depots will be using it and our schools will be able to use it as well. The school district says all bus routes have been shared with families. And of course, MCPS kids have just a few more sleeps before they have to return to the classroom on Monday at the MCPS Board of Education. I'm Tosin Fakile for DC News Now. Back to you. All right, Tosin, thank you. With well, DC schools say, like many districts, they're also facing a shortage of bus drivers. And they say that while they will work to hire, they'll be contracting with private transportation providers to cover specific routes. Now, they're also offering reimbursement to families who drive kids to school themselves. If you're interested in filling a position, the pay starts at $22.48 per hour.